Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 where we are hitting up the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Now, as per usual, I like to kick off my IMSA sort of race weekends with a run in the LMP3 category or the prototype challenge as it's called in real life. Alrighty, so that's qualifying run and done. Managed to put it on the outside of row number three. So a sixth place start today. Now the car is actually handling not too bad. I've actually managed to get a pretty decent setup for this uh, for this track with this car. I mean, this track is just insanely fast. It has got such high speed corners. The moment you make a mistake, you are going for a serious ride. So hopefully we can minimize, min, min, minimize, minimalize our mistakes today. And yeah, so without any further ado, we will jump onto the grid. Rolling start, of course. So just complete this formation lap nice and quick. Anyway, here we go. IMSA prototype challenge around the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, otherwise known as Mossport. See if we can get a decent jump. Green fire, green fire. Go, go, go. Uh, not too good. We'll, we'll spin. Cold tire is going to be a little bit sketchy on these fast corners, but should warm up nice and quick. Oh, big understeer. Just hold them off for a first couple corners. Oh, big dive bomb. Oh, one's gone. Free spot. All right, now this is where it starts to get a bit technical. You come down this hill into a bit of a dodgy braking zone. Hopefully, don't get run up by anyone behind. Oh, big move. Ah, screwed it up. Bit of a bottleneck in there. And then onto this, well, not really a straight, but it's the only sort of real flat out portion of the track. All right, now this is where I find I struggle in this car. It's really sketchy over these sort of bumps. Ooh, big checkup. Come on, go! I just can't get by anyone. Keep screwing it up. AI are pretty good around here. Oh, thought about going around the outside. Oh, what a move. Have some of that. You! Alright, up into fifth. Let's see if we can get away from this pack behind us. Leaders are completely cleared off. so hard to hit that apex. You can't see the curb anywhere. It's somewhat of a spaceship. All right, head down, no mistakes. So there's no pit stops in this race. We are good on fuel to the end. So we don't have to worry about that, but we do have to worry a little bit about tire wear because they do get a bit of a beating around here. The surface is pretty abrasive. Yeah, screw that up. I don't even think apexes really matter around this track. <laughs> you just got to carry as much speed as you can. if we can catch old mate in front of us get a move done ah that curb is so gnarly you want to get close to it but you do not want to touch it
good through there, it's just the last sector seemed to struggle. enough to make a move. Definitely don't have the pace of the leaders, but just about even with the guy in front. Just can't get that last sort of section right. Constantly coming back on yourself. is I've got the suspension actually set quite stiff because I really want the car to be planted on these fast corners but it means in that little slow section there you gotta re be really gentle on the throttle because it just winds the rear wheels up. I can't change the roll bars in this car, it's going to be a pain in the ass because I feel it's starting to get a little bit slippery. Just need to try and get by this guy, I can't get close enough to make it move. It's really hard to pass around here, there isn't really much in terms of options. So, so get it, got to get right up behind him out of that slow section, see if we can get him into here next lap, landing ahead god, I tell you, one of these laps I'm actually going to get that last corner right <laughs> oh man, that's slightly abusing track limits, but oh well quite close enough. I do really enjoy this car though. This is a lot of fun. It's it's stable but it allows you to sort of drive it over the edge and if you drive it that little bit too far you will get caught out. So it's a really sort of good car to learn in, in terms of sort of getting used to the prototype which is what it's pretty much designed for. Entry level prototype car. There is such a thing. I mean these these cars are a beast. Damn, I screwed up again. Uh, by no means slow, that's for sure. Serious amounts of grip. I couldn't imagine driving this track in real life. Downforce would just beat down on your neck. Oh god, screwed that up. Just 
starting to overheat the tyre. I can feel it going away from underneath me. Come on, Joseph. Big this. It's been a very poor lap. All right, a third of the way through. 20 minutes to go. Can't make any inroads. I keep making little mistakes here and there that cost me time. There's bloody blimps in the sky, but major shadows over the track. Screwed me up big time. Ah, come on. Lap together. I think we're actually catching the guy in third. But sort of staying even to the guy in front and the guy behind. Uh, fast lap so far. It's starting to get slowly quicker and I just can't hold on to the pace. Halfway there, still got a while to go yet. Apex is back there somewhere. Oh shit. No!
that was actually pretty quick. <laughs> Just launched it into there. I need to get back into this guy's draft. But losing time. Nasty bump in that last corner just sends the whole car sort of across the road. Idiot. It's that apex again. Not gonna lie, it's been a fairly boring race so far. <laughs> Just sort of hard to pass on this track and catch people when so much high speed, uh, or so many high speed corners. That's way too far. Jesus. That screwed us up big time. <laughs> uh. yeah, I'm starting to get a vibration in the wheel. I keep pinching the inside of the tyre. Slowly flat spotting it. It's not good. too hot into there. I mean, I'm sort of staying the same pace. It's just all these AI guys are getting slowly quicker throughout the race as the fuel comes down. Ugh, it's a pain in the ass. Definitely abusing track limits. Anyway, nothing happened. The stewards were looking the other way. Uh, the guys behind have started fighting, so that's good for us. Be 
nice if I could hit that apex once in a while. Alright, ten minutes to go. Two thirds of the way through the race. Tyres starting to get a little bit angry. This has been a very quick lap. <laughs> Absolutely nailed the first two sectors. Got the last one, that's alright. The track must be coming into life because that was a much quicker lap than what we've done so far this race. Ah, oh, screwed that up. Idiot. Damn it, we're just slightly making inroads on the cars in front. Uh, simple mistakes, all it takes. Old mate behind went for a big move.
Right, five minutes to go. Come on. Just hold on to this top five. Tires are really starting to complain that that left front's gone down into the yellow now. Just pushing. Three minutes to go, so three, three laps after this one. I'm guessing. Could really use an adjustable front anti roll bar by ne right now. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yeah. No left front. Starting to get a queue of cars form up behind us. Someone's died. One minute left, come on, let's just get things to the finish. We have literally been in fifth this entire race. <laughs> been pressured from behind this entire race as well. Probably went out the gate a little bit too hard in this race, that's why we've got no tyre left, but... Probably two laps to go here. Oh, maybe this is the last lap. We'll soon, we'll soon find out. Oh, jeez. Just try and hold on. Yes, keep fighting. Give me some space. <laughs> Coronavirus. No turn, you bitch. 
Uh, just go straight. Thank you. All right, well, we're probably going to get another lap because the you know, leader's just crossed the finish line already. Steering will start to vibrate as well. Not flat spots. Ah, oh, uh, that was the finish line. Ah, oh, awesome. All right, well, <laughs> top five. My gosh, that was getting really sketchy towards the end. But. Yeah, not the most event, um, yeah. not the most entertaining of races, I must admit. Uh, but yeah, no, that was a good way to sort of get warmed up for tomorrow's IMSA race and get used to the track, get the idea of what happens over here over sort of a long run. Definitely grips up, but yeah, that left front takes an absolute beating. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for more IMSA action tomorrow. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.